What's up guys, I'm Olivia and you're watching Driving and Vibing. Today we're going to tell you all about one of the coolest state parks we've stayed at in quite a while, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're going to be telling you all about Tomoka State Park in Daytona Beach, Florida. We just stayed there and it was really awesome and really cool. And if you guys are interested at all about this campground and you want to check out more details, we'll have all that info in the blog post linked below. So check that out. It'll have GPS coordinates, reservation information, and all the activities to do in the area. But let's go ahead and dive in and we'll tell you all about our stay. Tomoka State Park, I hope I'm saying that correctly, is located in Ormond Beach, Florida. It's about six miles north of Daytona Beach, and it has RV sites with water and electric, and it's $24 a night. Um, you have to book online through Reserve America. After fees and taxes, we paid about $169 for six nights, and that's about $28 a night. Our site was so cool. If you saw our Instagram, it looked like we were in the middle of a jungle. There were palm trees, there were palmettos. It was just lush, beautiful green growth and all of the sites looked like this. It was a sandy lot with water and electric. They did not have sewer hookups in the sites, but they did have a dump station nearby. So we just used our blue boy. The sites had a lot of lush growth in between them, so it was actually pretty private, even though they were relatively close together. The biggest downfall to me was all of the sand. It was really rainy while we were there, so we were tracking in tons of sand, even with our mat out. So that's just something, you know, you kind of have to deal with in the situation. It's more of a natural type campsite, but it's also the reason we loved it too. It was easy walking distance um, to the water there. I think it was right on a little basin. It's not on the ocean, but you do have some water access. So the the sites at this campground are rather small. 34 feet is probably the max length that can fit in there, but each site varies greatly depending. And the Reserve America site will let you know what size rig can fit in each of these spots. Another great thing about Reserve America is they have a picture of each site, so there's no guesswork. You know exactly what you're getting into before you get there. So a little bit more about the park. They do have bathhouses located uh, throughout the park with restroom and shower facilities in there. It is not uh, super fancy or anything, but it does get the job done. They have trash receptacles and they even had doggy waste stations all throughout, which was really nice and we always appreciate that. If you're camping with a group, they do have group campsites available in areas for meetups and potlucks and get togethers like that. As I mentioned briefly earlier, they do have an outpost right down the road and you can sit down, have a meal, you can grab a beer, you can get some supplies if you forgot firewood or other camp essentials. You can sit out and enjoy the beautiful sunset or you can rent a kayak or canoe and take it out for the day. If I remember correctly, they even have guided boat tours available. When you're done exploring on site in the campground, Daytona Beach is only six miles away. We drove down to Daytona and just rode along the beach area. It's really popular because of bike week and the Daytona Speedway races. Um, we didn't do anything like that while we were there. I think they do have um, the bikers coming into town very soon though, so it might be booked up in the coming weeks, but it is a very popular location for spring break. <laughs> It definitely is a little outdated in some ways and you can tell from the architecture of all these condos. So that's kind of funny. But if you drive the opposite direction in Ormond, there's beautiful beachfront with no obstructions and it seems like a great place to go and just relax on the beach. 
Overall, we really did enjoy our stay. It is more of a rustic camp setting though. It's not super developed, so just keep that in mind going into it. I think um, when, once the rain kind of set in, we were enjoying our time less, uh, but it, it was beautiful and totally scenic and idyllic. It makes for some beautiful photos and some nice quiet getaway time. Overall, it was a seven out of 10 for me. It was a really nice campground and we would definitely go back if we were in the area. If you want any more info about the GPS coordinates or reservation information, be sure to click the link below in the description with the blog post. It has all of those details. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Hopefully this was helpful for you and we'll see you next time.